as I said before, you have to be careful uh, not to touch yourself as well. And that you're not putting the groove too deep in the wood to split the wood. So this is the most tedious part of it right here. Everything else is a little bit easier. Okay, that's one side, and then I'm going to try to get the groove almost even so that when I put it in, the wood isn't spinning. And if you find if you if you do split the wood, you just start over. That's all. Okay. And I'll just attach that. Now, there's one other thing you have to take into consideration. The bow has to be on the same side as the middle cross member, so that when the skin is put on it. And the paper is put on it, the paper sits on top of this, the, the frame and then the wind hits the paper, the paper would, would be hitting against the frame. And so everything has to be on one side. And to make this a lot easier to do when it's time, oh, I think I just broke it, but we can still go on. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of tape to hold that. Okay, that is broken now. <laughs> so we, we get another one. And uh, maybe I cut this off. I'm trying to find one. Okay, this is the one I cut off. And so I'll just measure that back out. And that happens at times. Um, a, 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 an easier way to do it would be to get a flat um, piece of uh, uh, wood and it's a lot easier to bend but these dowels are, are fairly pliable so you just have to be careful and I'm going to try to put the bow back in and take ah look at that dowel number two where we have now is two. And we have one last piece left, and it just happens to be about right. So we're going to try again. Putting that bow back in it. As I said, between putting the bow in and putting the, the grooves on these, um, it's the most difficult part of making a kite. And here we go again. We put the groove in. The groove is to hold the string. Okay, that's one. And now we on the other side. Using our craft saw. And now we Still putting the groove in. Okay. This one is a little bit more tedious. I think we got it. Okay, we're not gonna work too hard on this one. What we're gonna do, we're gonna tie it off and then we're gonna we're gonna make the bow using the string. Now this is this is actually kite flying string so it does have uh, some strength to it. Uh, when you're making kites like this your strength should be comparable to the kind of kite you're making. If you if you look at the large kite over there we use construction cord for that um, because of the kind of tension that's going to be on it. Right? But this um, would work well with the regular kite flying string or even um, a number 10 tread. 
that give you uh, enough uh, strength to make it better. And I'm having a little problem again, so I'm going to have to, going to have to tie this off again. And again, you have to be careful when you're using, when you're cutting, make sure you're cutting the right string if you have to cut. Um, because once you cut and the, your string uh, is gone, you have to start again. So we're, we're going to get this on here. Tying that on. Okay. Now that's one side. Now, you're going to feed the strain through a few times to ensure that this is on properly. This string is hanging here to secure it. Now, you may look and you may say, Boy, oh, making kite is a lot of work. And it is in a sense, but once you complete the Benefits you get from flying it are tremendous. And you say, what, what, benefits, what benefits can you get from flying a kite? Well, kite is probably the simplest form of therapy that you can find. And um, for what the cost of these um, these dowels and a piece and a few and, and some string. The string uh, probably cost the most. I think the string was about two dollars. And don't forget, this is now Bahamian price. In fact, this is Grand Baham price. The dowels were um, less than a dollar a piece. I think it's um, a few cents actually. Um, probably uh, sixty-five cents or something like that. And then. Um, your skin that you're going to put on it can be just about anything. It can be um, used newspaper um, or crepe paper. And so you're not, um, you're not really going to spend a lot of money. But the benefits, as I said before, flying kite is quite therapeutic. Um, it helps you to take your mind off the world and things that are going on and it helps you to think and it, it makes you one with nature and one with God you become one with the kite while it's in the air comes a little difficult part. I'm going to make a bow with this piece here. So we have to put a little bit of pressure on it. A little bit of pressure. Okay. And we'll use the string to hold that position, if you look, you'll see it has a bow in the front. And so we're going to use the string to hold it in place. There we go. Okay, no. 
we have to try again. All right, there we go. And we want to make sure that it's quite secure before we let go. Now we add the whole thing to the frame. So we're going to put quite a bit of string there. We're going to cut off a good bit so that we can feed it through. Put it in another position. If you notice now I can let it go and it's, it's, it's still maintaining its position. Then I'm going to start tying this off now. Just a few regular knots, no difficult knot, or in and out knot. And then I'm going to tie this on to. Okay, and that's one part of it. Now, if you look, the, the boat looks like it's leaning a bit, so it needs a support. So we're going to find another one of those smaller members. And again, um, we, we're going to look for the center. And that's our center there. We already had predetermined our center. And so now, when you put this 